Hey, my name's Zach, and I'm going to show you how to crop an image and then add special effects to it to make it look really cool. So, over here I have an image of myself that I've already edited before, but let's edit it further. We're going to crop it first, so we'll just crop out what I've edited, and hit this little check button up here. And now we've cropped an image. You simply just clicked this tool, went and drawn out your square, and you don't even have to drag it as big as you need it. You just need to get one out there, and then you can click and refine. And then, like I said, hit this little check, and it'll crop the image. Now, if you want to add some effects, what we can do is hit Control A, Control C to copy. Then we're going to come down here and hit the new layer button and hit Control V to paste it onto that layer. Now that unlocks the Effects tab, and we can just click here, and we can do drop shadows, inner glows, pattern strokes, and we can just click on Blending Options to open all of it. And if you drag this off to the side, you could do drop shadows and change your options here. You could even bevel and emboss. And as you can see, that affects the image around it. And we could also even do a color overlay, which doesn't help us out much. We could also go up into the Filters tab. We could do an artistic filter, and let's say colored pencils. And this shows us the different options. We could even do smudge stick, neon glow, dry brush, cutouts, rough pastel. There's a bunch of different options we have. And we just have to say OK. And we've cropped an image and added special effects to it. My name's Zach, and I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching.